another day. Kind of bored, but I wish there was something I could do, but eh, I'll just do my nails again. Maybe later I'll just go lay in the sun. I could play another game on my phone for the 50th time today. <laughs> Check all my messages. Play words with friends. Um, but it is kind of boring after a while. There's got to be something else that I could be doing instead of doing this every day. Looking for some way to volunteer my time for a worthy organization. I wonder if there's anything in here um, that would um, have any information. Well, I'm not seeing anything here, uh, but maybe I'll check online. Maybe I would find something online. There's got to be an organization uh, in the Manchester area that would need my help. Eh, let me just poke around on, my, on the internet. There's got to be some organization out there that could use um, that I could volunteer some of my time at. Oh, look at this. Here's an organization called Your Community Cares. They're looking for volunteers um, for just as little as one or two hours a month. That's great. Um, Helping, to people, helping people to stay in their homes, age in place, and I can sign up to help different people when I'm available to do it. I'm gonna check this out more. Hi, my name is June, and I've been ill for some time and have needed some extra help. I've had many health issues. My husband died six years ago and so it's been difficult for me to manage myself. And I was very fortunate with the town social worker. She's helped me a lot. The town has done a lot for me. And I've also gotten help through them, through the community care. And I have a lady that helps me. She's a lovely person. Her name is Beth. And I look forward to seeing her every week. And it's been just great to have some help with my issues and help, help around the house. My name's Beth. Um, I've been with a volunteer with Your Community Cares for almost two years now. I was looking for volunteer opportunities during um, the COVID pandemic and uh, found out about Your Community Cares. It looked like a wonderful organization. So I signed up. And one of the first community members that I helped was June and uh, started helping her the first week that I was here. We just kind of clicked. And I've been coming once a week now for almost two years. Um, I really feel like I'm helping her age in place um, here in Manchester. She's very fortunate that she has some town services that connected the two of us together. Um, and I look forward to coming each week. Some of the things I do, um, I'll help her with dishes, I'll make her bed, do some light cleaning, and we often just sit and visit. And I think sometimes that 
connection is just as important as some of the other things that I, that I do. Um, but I, when I leave here every week, I really feel like I'm helping her stay in her own home, which is her goal. Um, and really just people that are, are in her same situation just need a little bit of help. Um, so I'm glad that I'm here to do it. Well, I recently had a birthday, 86 years old, and uh, I should say 86 years young, but it's, it's not young, but I had a lovely birthday. I had some friends help take me to lunch, and I had some flowers and gifts and cake, so I'm very fortunate to have a few people in my life still. How's your daughter doing with her, her getting ready for her wedding? Oh, she's doing great. The plans are coming together. Um, thank you for asking. June, my daughter's getting married in the fall, and June's been listening to all of our um, wedding planning activities. In fact, um, June gave us a little bit of lace um, that maybe Mel could somehow incorporate with her bouquet. Um, so looking forward to see if that happens. Um, and really when I'm here, we just talk about just stuff that's going on. We watch some of the same television shows and sometimes we'll get to laughing about things that happen on the shows. Um, we've actually found through all of our conversations that we have a lot in common. Um, our birthdays are a day apart. One day apart, yeah. One day apart. Our families are originally from the same um, area of western Pennsylvania. And then I found out by chance that I actually worked with her niece for over 10 years and that we, we were very good friends. Um, so I just, we've just had conversations and just realized uh, you know, when I first got here, I thought, I've got nothing in common with this person. But I think we've discovered oh, that we have so much course. in common. Oh, yes, I yeah. think so. Yeah, so much in common. Um, and I've also learned, too, that um, one of the reasons I was motivated to become a volunteer was I had helped my parents age in place. They wanted to stay in their home as well. And my parents were lucky because they had all their kids in the area. So we all helped, some grown grandchildren helped. Um, but June was in a situation where she didn't have as much family around. How about any? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I just felt like this was very, um, uh, I realized that there was a need here. Um, and after helping my parents, I realized there were so many people in this same position. And um, so um, when I found June, I just seemed like it was a good match for us. And since my mom has passed, I, I actually kind of feel like June's like a second mom to me, and I feel like I get as, just as much out of coming here. That's nice. You know, as June gets with getting, you know, getting the things done that are on the to-do list that day. I'll do laundry. It's getting a little trickier for her to get down to her basement. So I'll, uh, I like to get as many trips down, back and forth to her basement as I can while I'm here. Um, to work on laundry. Um, no, we've gone outside and done things together, watered plants, and um, we got all of her Christmas decorations organized. That was a job. Huh? That was a little bit of a job, but fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, 
her support's been wonderful. I look forward to it. I don't have any family, so uh, I have no children. So it's nice to have someone that that comes and visits with me. I have a few friends left, but at the age I am, there's not many people around that I used to know. But uh, it's been great. We, like she said, we do a lot of visiting and projects together, and I, I look forward to it. I can't make my bed myself, so it's wonderful when when she comes and does that. But uh, yeah, we visit, and it's very nice. And we, she does a lot of things for me. So I'm very appreciative of having her. And could we talk about the, the um, savings that you, know, you don't have to pay a private caregiver um, to do these things, and then as you're on a fixed income, it can really help. Oh, yes. Well, I, I had a <clears throat> friend of mine who was in the cleaning business. She used to come every week and clean for me, but I paid her. But she's not well now anyway, so I, she can't really, she couldn't really do much. So uh, I had, then I had nobody until Beth came along. So it's been wonderful because I just couldn't do everything myself. And uh, <clears throat> it's been a savings, yes, to have volunteer service. It's been great. I mean, <laughs> I don't have that much anymore with anything. So it's, it's a wonderful organization, I think. With asking for help, yeah, I think that's it's a hard thing for some people. I don't, I'm, I'm like that too. I don't like to ask anybody for help or to do this or that. So, it's, it's difficult. But when you reach that stage in life, you know, you have to say, hey, if you're ill or something happens to you, even if you're not elderly, you know, you really sometimes need that help. And if you're alone it's much harder to manage. I used to do everything myself, so it's, it's really difficult. But I'm glad I could ask for help. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What, what did you used to do for work? <laughs> well, I, years ago I studied fashion and textile design, and uh, then I went on and did, I worked in business with designing and window display and a lot of retail business, but uh, I, I loved it uh, very much. But it's very hard if you're in the art field, it's hard to get, to make a lot of money or get a job where you can do that, so. But I loved it, yeah. I ended up doing different office jobs, so. I think in regards to asking for help, um, it, is really, it is really hard to ask for help at any stage of your life. Yeah. Um, but I think what I have found with other um, volunteers with your community cares is um, a respect. What I've found is the volunteers seem to be very respectful of anybody that they're helping with. Um, and I think when you come into somebody's home and show that, then it makes them more comfortable with the fact that they had to ask for help. Um, it's okay to ask for help. And I don't understand when people have young families, you know, everybody chips in and helps. What do they say? It takes a village, you know, to raise a child. And everybody seems to just be on board with that. But that shouldn't change as somebody gets older. We should all be there to help. Um, just as much as we would with a young family. Um, so I think it's also getting into that mindset that people at all different stages of their life may need help, and the elderly population especially. Um, so I'm just glad I can be a part of it. So am I. <laughs> yeah. Aw. <laughs> I can do the silverware, you know. I can get up and oh, do something. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Sometimes oh, June's man. up and about and helping me, and other days, if it seems like um, you bet. know she's tired or something's bothering her, I make sure I make her sit. My and back is just terrible today. That's why I'm not up and about too much. Yeah, yeah. So really, I just 
play it by ear when I come in. It's whatever June needs me to do that day is, is what I do. And um, honestly, I end up spending a little bit more time here than I may have planned. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's more important that I get the things done that she needs that week. Um, and I want to leave knowing that everything's sort of just set for her as much as possible till I come next week. Um, but the other nice thing is June and I will check in on each other during the week. Um, if, uh, if I'm not feeling well or, you know, for some reason, she'll call and check on me. Um, same with, with here. If I've left one day and realized maybe she wasn't quite right, I'll give a call during the week just to check in and see. Um, so I feel like it's a friendship has developed, and I can't imagine not coming here every week. I really Aww, can't. It's just nice. part of my routine now, and I can't imagine not doing it. So I feel very blessed um, to be a part of the organization and to have met June. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Today I have a lot of pain in my back, and I... So I'm not getting around too well. So she has taken over, and sometimes I try to help a little bit and put things away. And I was up picking up my house this morning, but I have a lot of uh, um, pain, and I have arthritis pretty bad and uh, degenerative bone disease. So it just takes its toll on me some days. And uh, but I try to keep going and. Uh, some days I can, some days I can't. So she helps a lot. Well, I had also encouraged June. Um, she was still paying for some yard work to be done. Oh, and um, I was encouraging her to, through her social worker at the town of Manchester, encouraging her to see if another request could be put in once a month or weekly um, to help with some outside things that I just wasn't getting to. And just last week, another volunteer from Your Community Cares started um, doing some weeding and mulching yeah. and um, watering plants outside. And so that's also resulted in some savings for June as well. And that just came through in conversation. Yeah. You know, with us sitting and talking and realizing she had that need outside and that that was starting to get a little bit expensive for her also. Um, so her social worker, she called her social worker at the town and her town and her that social worker, Margaret, was able to um, put in the request for some additional outside work as well. And hoping that that'll work out, um, that the same person will be able to yeah, come. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. 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 Yep. So June didn't realize that that service was available for outside, for outside tasks. And it was through conversation with us that I'm like, oh no, you could get somebody else to come and do those things. Because I have someone that I pay for, you know, trimming and mowing the grass, and I've had him for a long time, and doing the gutters and all the big stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I wish I could walk out there now and just start trimming and be weeding and get on my knees and <laughs> and do everything. And I, it's just very frustrating that I can't do any of that. So. So I have my little pots of flowers on the deck. That's my excitement. And my tomato plant. <laughs> well, June doesn't give herself enough credit. She partially stained her deck this summer. She's done it every year <laughs> since she's lived here. And this summer wasn't going to be any different. 20, 25 years. So. <laughs> and I showed up one day to find all of her painting supplies out and that she had touched up her deck the day before. <laughs> so I also think she doesn't give herself enough credit. She 
does a lot here on her own too, in able to, you know, Thank for you. her to be able to stay here. She's highly motivated to stay in her own home. And she wants to be able to do it all, but has just found that it's, it's too much to do all of it. But I think it's great, the things that she still does um, is huge. And definitely to her credit that she keeps going. No, I'm, I'm so happy to have the help. And, um, and I do have a hard time with, with many things. So some days I just can't hardly walk and other days I can get out and do a few things. So it's, it's just been very frustrating to be alone and not have anybody. So with Beth coming, it gives me something to look forward to. And, and I know that she'll help with some things that I can't do. I just, I'm very grateful that I was able to be a part of the adult and senior services that my social worker, Margaret, does a wonderful job and I'm thrilled that I've been able to get help through her and through that group. And she connected me to your community. <laughs> <laughs> and with that help, I've been able to get through to the year, our community service that has helped me with everything now. And I have Beth and I'm, I'm so happy and grateful for that. I had a, a wooden bench <coughs> with metal scroll on the side of it. And then I had a hanging, can't think of the flower. Anyway, hanging flowers on there. And I had a, a bird bath <coughs> and then a pot of flowers and a bird bath that you could empty in and some little steps out there, so I had big plans. Yeah, it's terrible right now because we need the rain so bad. It's a very sandy soil in Manchester, so nothing sticks in it. I was always going to make a little rock garden and put some steps on that hill, bring it down, try to flatten this out a little bit. But I had all kinds of big plans. <laughs> beautiful day. It's lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hot, beautiful. But at least I can look at my yard and enjoy it. I'm very lucky that I have this.